Hello, my name is John DiDominici. I'm from Long Island, New York, and I am a touring musician, an audiovisual technician, and a production coordinator for corporate events. I've played in a lot of bands over the years. Um, I've been touring for, I'd say, about 15 years, just about. Um, at the time, I've played in bands like Bomb the Music Industry, or a woman named Laura Stevenson, a band called Warriors, a band called Chumped, and right now um, my main band is being the bass player for Jeff Rosenstock, who is a singer and indie rock, punk rock musician in Brooklyn, New York. Um, we've uh, traveled the world, this band, so we've seen quite a few places, um, and for the most part, it's a it's a pretty um, uh, DIY operation. He doesn't have a manager. Um, he kind of handles a lot of his day-to-day -day stuff himself, so we kind of get to keep everything in-house. And we make a lot of our uh, decisions. Um, when I'm not touring, uh, like I said, I'm an audio-visual technician, which kind of just means that I uh, sound and video for events, corporate events usually. Um, so, if there is a seminar for doctors somewhere, I might be there setting up microphones or setting up projectors or set, running a laptop for a PowerPoint. That is a job, <laughs> luckily. Um, and then, as a production coordinator, um, I'm uh, required to set up those events from the, the grand side. Of it. So, booking the venues, hiring the labor, hiring the audiovisual teams and making sure the events all run smooth. And that's all kind of stuff that I figured out from years of touring, as you see, you know, because a show is kind of like a little event, a rock show. So you kind of see how everything works together and, you know, you can apply that to not rock and roll, doctor seminars or real estate seminars or anything. Um, it's all the same idea. It's all people in a room that are focused on something. And usually there is sound and lights that are required. Um, my education is I graduated from SUNY Oneonta, which is a state school in New York, uh, with a degree in uh, music industry and a minor in business communication. Um, and that has helped me throughout um, uh, my life, certainly getting those or corporate type jobs. People like to see a college education, um, but I don't know if it's 100% necessary. Not everyone I went to school with did uh, go to school, but it doesn't hurt, of course. Um, as far as touring goes, the day to day is, I like to kind of joke that it's kind of like being in the army. It's very regimented. Um, you wake up in a hotel somewhere. And then you get in a, a van, or a bus, or in anything, or a plane, <laughs> um, and then you go for a long time somewhere, and you get to the show, and then you do loading, and then you do your sound check, and then everyone goes and gets dinner, which is the highlight of the day usually. Um, and then you come back, and you watch the opening bands, and then you play, and then you pack up, and then you go to the next hotel, and then you do it all for the next day. And that's kind of like what being on tour is. Um, we've been lucky enough, the fans I've played in, where we have a little more control over our day to day, so we can always build in things early in the morning if we want to go see some sort of natural, uh, you know, landmark or something like that, or some, some cool museum or anything, go to a special place for lunch. That's you know, famous in the town we're in, we can always build that into our day. We're not super held to um, uh, a schedule when we're on tour because we're such a do-it-yourself operation, which has worked well for uh, me, for sure, throughout the years. But yeah, the life, uh, you know, touring, it's its like anything else. I've been on tour with people who have been doing it longer than me, and I've been doing it on tour with people who are shorter. And the people that can do it are the people that take it seriously. Um, it's like any other job. Um, I didn't get good at it until I started taking it seriously, you know, I know you like see things in movies where everyone's out all night 
and they're drinking and they're partying and they're out till the sun comes up. You can't do that stuff because you're going to feel terrible the next day and you can't feel terrible and play music for 90 minutes at high intensity. It just doesn't work. And you also immediately lose your voice. So that stuff all looks fun, but that's not really how it goes a lot of the time. Um, maybe some bands do that. Certainly no band I've ever seen or ever been a part of. It's, uh, it's kind of like a job because it is your job. I pay taxes on it. It's my job. It's a great job. I'm very lucky. Um, I get to see the whole world for my job. I get to travel all over, but it's still a job. You have to take it seriously. You have to respect it. So people keep asking you. That's another thing, too, to remember. Since I'm not a songwriter, and I just play on the people's fans, if I don't take the job seriously, I'll be hired by other bands. And I don't keep doing this. So if you're out partying every night and being a crazy person, Maybe you don't get called for the next man. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, and, you know, like I said, uh, beginning the hotel and the van and the bus, certainly it didn't start that way. This took a, you know, we started touring or playing music, you know, in our teens. And um, we would play shows for very few people. We would have to sleep in that we use houses at night, no hotels, of course. Um, it was uh, uh, very, very hard to make money. We'd have to really um, uh, uh, ration the food. We couldn't really be spending any money on fancy dinners like we can now. And it just, you know, it took years and years and years and years to get to a place where we can all sleep in a bed. And if we want to go to the nice restaurant in town for dinner, we can do that instead of going to Taco Bell every day. Um, yeah, it takes a long time. Being in a, and, and making it be a successful situation for you, where you can call it your career, takes a long time and a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication. And you have to take it seriously, like you would take any thing seriously. The same way someone who works at a bank takes their job seriously, you take this seriously. Maybe even more, because more people want to do this for a living than work in a bank, probably. No shade to anyone that wants to be a banker. Um, yeah, that's kind of how touring goes. Um, that's kind of what I do. I think it's a, it's a pretty, pretty neat way to make a buck. And like I said, it's, uh, allowed me to see the whole world or a lot of it at least, um, and get paid to do it, which is pretty, pretty, pretty sick. Um, uh, highly recommend if you have, um, the stomach for not being home for a very, very long time, uh, not being with your loved ones for a very, very long time, um, and uh, being very, very close to people all the time. Um, if flying is a thing you're not a fan of, maybe not for you. Uh, a lot of airplanes in this in this career path. Um, but yeah, hope you all learned something. Thanks.